somebody come in with something new. Just as how you have the regular hospital, everybody come in the hospital for treatment. It's the same thing with the church. The church is an hospital. People come to the church when they need rescue. They need help. They need deliverance. Why are we hindering people? Why are we shutting out people in church? Let us be careful. Let us stop. Let us stop hurt people out there. It is not nice. They are running for rescue. Some of them commit a lot of fornication, abortion, and they just need help. They Hello, my wonderful subscribers and viewers. Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle Cole. So guys, today I want to talk to you a little bit about rejection in the church and how they scorned me my brothers and sisters, and we have to be very careful, you know, as a child of God, we have to be careful how we treat one another, the Bible says that we should love, love is the key, love conquer all, my brothers and sisters, and you know, I remember I went to this church, my brothers and sisters, because for persons don't know, I live overseas, and I remember I, I went to this church, and you know, I was there and everything, I play my role and everything at the church, and I remember um someone went to the pastor and complained, you know, they don't like, oh, oh, when I come close to them, and I'm looking at it and I'm saying, we are, we, we are a child of God, we, we, you know, we're supposed to love each other, and you know, it seems like, you know, you're not one of them if that makes sense. But I must say this to you. It doesn't matter where you are from in the world. Once you're a child of God, you must learn to treat people correctly. I don't care. I don't care how powerful you are. I don't care the amount of money you have. Treat people with respect because God is love and in him there's no darkness. What, let me say this to you. He said if we say we love God and we eat our brother and sister on earth it makes no sense and I'm telling you guys I was crushed and you know what? I left. I left the church and I went I went to another church, my brothers and sisters, and I was there playing my role and everything, you know, taking part, you know, leading, you know, prayer meeting and everything. And it, it seems like, you know, what once you, you, you know, you're from a different country, let me put it this way, you're from a different country, it's like, Everybody stand up, standoffish with you. You know what I mean? Like you're not one of them. You don't talk like them. You don't dress like them. You know, and even at one point, my brothers and sisters, you know, they were um even laughing the way oh I dressed. You know, because I wear my 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 dress and I wear skirt. I don't wear pants to church, you know? And you know, you know, when when you're not mixing, you know, and acting like them, you know, person will, will be offended. But guess what? I don't care because let me say this to you. I am not trying to fit in with no one. I am going in the house of God and I must dress properly. The Bible talk about modesty, dress properly. When you go to church, there's nothing for you to expose. When you go to church, it's time to worship, give God all the glory. Nothing should draw attention to you in a no negative way. And let me say this to you guys. They do all manner of evil. And I look and I, I say, my God. Even sometimes, my brothers and sisters, even your accent, they will laugh. Where are we going? People of God, where are we going? Which heaven? Which one of the heaven? Not the one up above. Where are we going? When we treat our brother and sister like nothing, where are we going? And let me say this to my brothers and sisters. They did a lot of bad things to me. But guess what? I never backslide. I just step. I left. But I still hold my head high. And I want to say to someone out there, they might spit at you. They might laugh at you. They might do all manner of evil. But let me say this to you, all your head eye. 
All you need, you just need, hallelujah. You just need that right man or woman of God that will lead you in the right path. Let me tell you sometime. You see, some of these pastors, they're just pastor on Sunday. During the week, there are no pastor. I'm telling you. Let me say this to you, my brothers and sisters. I remember I, I, I went to sing on the praise and worship. And when I get back, my bag was on the floor. My jacket was on the floor. And I was saying to myself, how did my stuff get here? And a church sister turned to me and said, oh, maybe it's one of the church sisters in the church don't like you. Put it there. I'm like, what? I was shocked. That's the last thing. I was so shocked. Where is this hatred coming from? It doesn't matter. Let me tell you something. If you speak English, Spanish, it doesn't matter what you speak. Once you are a child of God, act like a child of God, show them love. He said, be compassionate to one another. And that is why a lot of a lot of a lot of reason why you know young people are not coming into church because guess what? Because of Christian behavior. And that is why when we read Psalms 1, it says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinner, nor seated in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. We have to be careful how we treat one another. Can you imagine? Because I'm from a different country, you don't want to accept me? We are one in Christ. It doesn't matter. We are one. One body in Christ. And we must love one another. He said, love one another. Love the Lord with all your heart. He said, love your neighbor as yourself. So we have to be careful how we treat our brothers and sisters. Let me tell you something, you know. The church is an hospital, you know. And every day, Every day somebody come in with something new. Just as though you have the regular hospital, everybody come in the hospital for treatment. It's the same thing with the church. The church is an hospital. People come to the church when they need rescue. They need help. They need deliverance. Why are we hindering people? Why are we shutting out people in church? Let us be careful. Let us stop. Let us stop earth. People out there, it is not nice. They are running for rescue. Some of them commit a lot of fornication, abortion, and they just need help. They you have persons out there, you know, coming from bad relationship. You know, they're traumatized and they just need, they just need that little healing. We have to be very careful. And that is why the Bible says, He that winneth a soul is wise. You have to be wise. We have to be careful how we treat people. The church is an hospital. Every type of sickness. That is why the Bible said, Come unto me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus said, Come unto me. We have to be very careful how we treat people. Stop. Stop their stumbling block. In sinners' life, stop their stumbling block in young people like young people who mean to serve God the right way. Be a leader, be an example, and let them live and, 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 and do the work of God in their life. Stop being an endurance because at the end of the day, you're gonna pay for it. Let us be wise and let us repent. Let us repent before God. Let us treat people. Treat people right. 
And let me say this to you. If you're out there and you say you're acting as a follower of Christ and you hate your brother and sister on earth, you're still in the dark. You need to repent. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And let no one push you out. Let no one hinder you. Remember, there's a God. When everyone forsake you, he will never forsake you.